Yo, what's up, man? It's the pilot, and I'm back again. Like I left my cell phone in the sofa cushion. Hey, before we get started, man, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm doing something a little outside of the box um, because I have to. Okay, um, this shoe came out. I don't know how long ago it was, but when I found out about it through my friend that uh, I got the shoe from, I was like, man. I gotta go and get a pair of those right now. You know, with the with the uh, dad shoe craze and stuff that's going on. It's an amazing shoe, and it's better than an, any other Nike shoe that uh, that is comparable to a dad shoe like the Monarchs and the other stuff. Um, these are really dope, but the only thing that sucked about it is they didn't make them in men's sizes. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Zoom Vista Grind. Okay, right here. All right. So what I had to do was, I got a friend that told me about it when, when she got hers. I said, hey, well, as soon as you get yours, we got to do a review on them. All right, so um, this is what they look like. And you're going to get some B-roll footage here in a second because me and her are going to talk about it to you guys. She's going to give you an opinion because I can't really tell you too much about the shoe other than show it to you. And... She actually wears it. Now, I think this shoe goes up until like uh it's comparable size to like a men's 10 and a half. But you guys know I'm a 13, 14. So there's no way I was gonna be able to get this. But I'm just like, man, this shoe is so dope and so awesome that I had to do a review on it. So I'm gonna let her tell you about it, right? Alright, so of course this shoe is not a dude shoe, and I'm not wearing it, so I can't give you guys a real review but the person that owns the shoe can do a whole lot better than me they didn't want to be on camera because uh they look like Rasputia but uh this this is uh Keisha so <laughs> so Keisha tell them uh about the shoe I had a couple of questions real quick you okay. know uh well I'll put this outfit together on this on this picture right here but on this video or whatever I might be showing at the time with the dress, you know, she kind of thinks she don't like it, but I think it's cool. But everybody's not the pilot. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so did you get this shoe because it kind of looks like a dad shoe or, or what, Keisha? Absolutely not. I got the shoe because I like the platform. I actually didn't look at this shoe and automatically think this is a dad shoe. That's me personally. I just like the boxiness of it and I like the really thick platform and the translucent, um, I don't know what it's Oh, you're using sneaker terms now. Oh, you're a sneakerhead here. Huh? Whatever. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so do you think this is like can replace somebody like that wants to like a designer dad shoe or something? Could this be like a cheap replacement of that? Well, first of all, they're not really cheap. But um I guess so if you're into the dad shoe thing, but like I said, I don't look at it that way. I think it's just a cool shoe and it's different. Okay. Um is this a shoe? You have a lot of sneakers. Is this a shoe that you think you're going to wear a lot? Um, I think I'll get good use out of it. I'm not going to wear them every day, of course, but um, definitely get some good use out of them for sure. All right. So the price of it was 160 bucks. Do you think they're really actually worth 160 bucks? <sighs> well, I don't think that they're worth 160 but... I don't think they're worth 160 but at the end of the day, I mean, I feel like I paid more for other shoes that were not as cool. So, it is what it is. I okay. mean, yeah. Alright. But quality-wise, I mean, it's pretty good quality. I just feel like over time, the, um, what is this called? The bottom part? The outsole? The, the outer the, the Whatever. Midsole. But anyway, the platform portion. I just feel like the more you wear them, the more that'll kind of get... I don't really know what it's called, but it'll just kind of start to look wore out. So you just don't want to go too long. Oh, you're talking about like the creasing and stuff? The creasing, there we go. Yeah, yeah when, you, you just doing this video, it already started creasing. So yeah. you guys, if you if you got, um, you think about buying a sneaker for somebody or you're a female and you're watching this and you think about buying the shoe, just know that it's going to crease up real fast. But it's not bad. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but you just don't want to, you know. Right. It's um, definitely not an everyday shoe. Um... How comfortable is it? Like, what do you compare it to? Is it is it like Ultra Yeezy Boost Comfort? Oh is it Air Max Comfort or what? Well, I don't own any um, Ultra Boost. I know, 
but I do have a few pair of uh, Yeezys and I think these are actually more comfortable than those believe it or not um I mean I feel like I'm just walking on a fat ass this is stepping on fat asses when you walk on the street whatever you want to compare to <laughs> <laughs> but I'm walking on a dream like legit okay these are comfortable and shit yeah. okay and uh, as far as like um the colorway did you get like would you get it in another colorway or is this the um, colorway that you have now is the reason why you one of the reason why you bought it well initially i bought it for this colorway because i like the um you know the lime green the fluorescent orange or i don't know this is kind of a bright pink something anyway but i bought for this colorway but i'm actually thinking about getting another pair and it's like a red and black uh colorway it's a little more subtle i guess but i'm thinking about it i just don't know yet okay um, what would you compare this? Do you have any other shoes that you have, or that you know of that you can compare it to? Nope. I thought you were telling me about some like a medical shoe or something. Oh, I kind of um. So I'm in the medical field, and I will wear Hoka's sometimes. For any of you folks out there who wear Hoka's, uh, I post a picture of those ugly ass shoes. But. Anyway, they look like moon boots, but if you're a person who's on your feet all day this those hokas are what that is so i kind of compare them to that as far as i guess the feeling of walking on a platform so you're going to kind of feel weird at first but you'll get used to them especially chicks i mean okay if well, you wear heels you i mean it's nothing yeah so i i honestly think this is, looks like a dad sneaker mm -hmm. um like you know like one of those balenciaga triple s or whatever like it kind of is in that same realm i think nike was trying to make a, a version of that and join the wave other than those monarchs and a little bit more stylish but they just didn't make it for men you motherfuckers but uh honestly if if this was this shoe was the same price let's say if you could only get this shoe on resale and between this and a, another dad shoe that you would like, like a Balenciaga Triple S or, or one of those Gucci sneakers, and they both were the same price at the end of the day, which one would you get? Honestly, I probably would still stick with these. I really? mean, just for comfort. They are so comfortable. Really? I can literally walk around all day with these shoes on. They're that comfortable. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Even if this shoe was $585 a resale on Stock X. You would rather have that than a brand new pair of retail Lancy Gucci joints. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think those shoes are cool, but they're not super comfortable. Okay. All right. So I'm all, I don't know, I'm all about comfort at this point. I mean, if they're heels, that's a different story because they're kind of expected to somewhat hurt. I mean, you know, but sneakers, no, I'm looking for comfort. And, I mean, of course, they need to, you know, somewhat look decent, but... Okay, and the last question, as far as like the sizing on the shoe, like it, you wear a, a eight and women's or something, right? So I wear eight and women's of Nike, and these are pretty much true to size, in my opinion. Um, I guess just for chicks out there, uh, size reference wise, in Adidas, I wear a seven, like Yeezys, any of those type of shoes, I wear a seven, but in Nike, definitely wear eight. Um, I was skeptical at first. I thought I should size up at least like maybe eight and a half maybe, but I just went with my true size and they're perfect. And as you can see in the video clip, I have, um, you know, a thick pair of socks on and they're still fine. So. Okay. Now would you wear a sock? Would you rather wear these with socks or would you wear them without socks? I think it just depends, uh, what I'm looking for, but I'm definitely planning on rocking them with socks. Okay. All right, guys. Well, listen. Um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, Nike makes these at some point in a men's size, and that would be great because I want to get a couple of pair of those. It just sucks that I got a foot like, uh, you know, like a like Shaq. You know, I wear a fourteen, so I can't even. Now, some dudes are buying these shoes that are in men's size. I mean, that are men's size. They have small men's feet in their bottom. And getting the biggest size possible. I think they go up until like a men's 10 and a half or something. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, man, this shoe is, is amazing looking. I can't really tell you how it feels other than what Keisha told you. But that's pretty much it. All right, thank you, Keisha. Uh, and, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff, man. And remember, you are the flyest 
motherfucker on there. I see y'all later. Hey.